Hey guys, I'm going to teach you how to make the dough you need in order to make your own petroglyph. So first up, you're going to need some flour. You probably have this in your kitchen. It's the white fluffy stuff. You're going to need two cups. So I'm simply scooping it out of the bag here. It doesn't have to be perfect. Mine's not. I'm not very great at baking or cooking, so hopefully this turns out. I've got two cups to these big one cup measuring thingies poured it into my bowl. And then I'm going to take the same cup, the same one cup, take the salt. It's going to seem like a lot of salt. Got this at the dollar store for a dollar, believe it or not, at the dollar store. You gotta fill up the cup. We're only doing one cup of the salt. Come on, almost filled. All right, filled up, dump it in there. Now, I have some water in this old cup. I am going to put one cup of water. The trick is with this, got my measuring cup filled up do it slow and then you're gonna take your hand and you're gonna use it to mix slowly add the water now the reason we do it slowly without dumping it in is because we don't want to oversaturate that means we don't want it to get too wet so we're just being really cautious Okay, it's still pretty dry, so I'm going to add some more water and keep kneading the dough. It's starting to feel like sugar cookie dough. Do you see how it's getting kind of clumpy? This is very messy, so don't wear nice clothes while you do it. Looks like we could use some more. I think I could probably get away with using the rest of it. Oh yeah, I can feel it now. Pew, it smells like play-doh it's not a great smell unless you like play-doh then it's okay keep working it all together it's gonna seem like it takes a really really long time I like to use one hand at first to keep this hand clean so I can hold the bowl more easily see how it's all starting to come together look at that it's a little crumbly but I'm going to give it a chance here first before I think about adding any more water to it. Now, you might have done this when you make like holiday ornaments or if you've any done any kind of like cool projects in school where you let things harden. And it's very, very similar. Now you might be tempted to add food coloring, but don't. We want this natural color, this kind of creamy white color. Oh yeah, this consistency is feeling really good. All right, let's take a look. Check that out. So it makes this huge wad. It's probably the size of like a softball. Here's my hands. Now you're not gonna need all of this for today's activity. So I'm gonna tell you to grab probably the size of, I don't know, two golf balls put together. What would that be? A small baseball like this. You make a nice ball. You're really gonna work it with your hands. I'm using it to get the dough off my hands too. And then, a little bit of stuff. I'm using my hands because it's kind of sticky. You don't want it to stick to your counter too much. I'm using my hand to kind of make it into this really fat hamburger patty. You don't want it too thin, otherwise it won't work for our petroglyphs. It'll be too thin and sensitive to our scratches. Do you see how nice and smooth it is? It's nice and thick, so when it dries up, it'll be great. Look at that. That turned out perfect. All right. Your next step is you're going to take some toothpicks. 
which I forgot to grab. So I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use this metal or this medicine cup. And my design that I picked for part two of my petroglyph, petroglyph investigation was a sun. Now I know why I chose this symbol because I love being outside and I love sitting out in the sun and relaxing. So I'm making a sun. Oh yeah, that turned out really great. Look at that. Now notice that I'm using deeper lines. I'm pushing, but not too hard. Just enough where I'm making a deep enough crease that when this dries, the design will stay. And that's it. That's my petroglyph. Now, salt dough dries on its own. It takes about 24 to 48 hours. So what I recommend is putting this on top of like a baggie. I'll show you. So here's just like a sandwich bag or you can use saran wrap or a Target bag. Something so it's not sitting on your counter. And I just lay it on there and find a nice safe spot to store it in your kitchen or somewhere away from pets or other places where it might be in the way. But before you put it away and forget about it, take a picture of it or ask your grown up to take a picture of it and email it to me or attach it to your Google assignment. Ooh, look at that finger. I'm gonna have to wash my hands, I think. All right, guys, I hope you have fun making your own petroglyphs and learning more about the Jeffers petroglyphs. I'll see you later.